Hello everyone, my name is Miss Brough and I'm in charge of all the lovely subjects and the exciting curriculum that we have at Newman Catholic School. I'll tell you a little bit about that today. So when I was at school, my favourite lesson in the world was English. I had this wonderful English teacher called Miss Holgate. Hello Miss Holgate, she's still there. And she really, really inspired me. We did lots of reading and we did lots of writing and I loved it. I love to read anyway, so I think that's why English was my, was my favourite subject. Now at the Newman School, we've got many, many different kinds of lessons for you to study. You're going to like some of them more than others, but hopefully you will try your best in every subject. Are you ready? I'm going to take you through them all individually. Here we go. So as I said, my favourite subject was English. And one of the, the, the best things about English was reading and learning all the new words. And now you can see by the age of this book here, this is my school dictionary. And I've still got it now because English was my favourite subject. We did lots of reading, writing, talking, speaking, listening, all of those wonderful things. And my dictionary helped me do that. Apart from English language, which is very different, we then also went on to English literature. Now, when I was your age, it was all about the famous five. I loved the famous five. I always wanted to be George. I always wanted to have a dog called Timmy. And I read and read and read. There was 21 books in the series. And I used to read from number one to 21 and then start again. I love the famous five so much so I've still got all the books here. I still read them now, amongst other things. Now, maths was another good subject. Now, this is what maths is going to be like at Newman School. I like to think of it like a biscuit. OK, now in maths at Newman, we want you to do practical maths. What do I mean by practical maths? Well, OK, well, here's a biscuit. I want to take that biscuit and I'm going to split it in half. And now I'm going to take that biscuit and I'm going to split it in quarters. Now, I should have chosen a bigger biscuit. What I can now do is I can take that biscuit and I can split it into eights. And you will see that some of the practical maths that we do at Newman School, we can chop things up and we can learn about fractions that way. Other things we can do is we can learn to solve puzzles, such as things like the Rubik's Cube. I need to go to more maths lessons to understand it, but I'm sure your maths teachers will be able to help you solve puzzles like this as well. Science. I wasn't very good at science at school, but I tried so hard. And at Newman, we're going to be studying things like biology, where we can take the human body and we can take things out. We can look at it, chop things up, dice them, look at them under a microscope. But we can also do things like understand energy and how things work. Now, other things that we're going to study, things like history. So we'll look at historical artefacts, such as my Toby jug here, and find about where it came from, why it's important, who used them, what it is. As well as things like Egyptian urns. There, this is all the way from real life Egypt, where they would put things in here and keep them safe and then bury them with the pharaohs. We can look at all those kind of things as well. Also, you will be studying geography and I have some things to show you. Because in terms of geography, it involves talking about other countries and how they live. So here I've got a little little elephant that I bought from the tea plantations in Sri Lanka. So what they did was the elephants, they cut they grew the tree, the tea in Sri Lanka and then the elephants cut, dragged it all to the market where they could sell it. You might have seen something like this before. This is from a place called Easter Island, which is in the middle of nowhere. And it's famous because I've got all these big statues all over the island and nobody knows where they came from or what they did. So it's interesting to find out about other countries and how they live. So my paintings from Nepal. This is quite a, a common picture in, in Nepal, these paintings on fabric that people hung all over the houses for colour and to tell little stories. So in geography, you'll be finding out about all different kinds of cultures and different types of countries. And that hopefully might inspire you to maybe visit some later on. Right. What have we got next? Art. Everybody loves art. At Newman School, we've got a wonderful art teacher. I'm back to my famous five. So when I'm a bit busy and a bit stressed, I've got my famous five colouring book. I still love the famous five. And I'll colour that in. And you can do things like that in art as well. You can be as creative as you want to be. You can paint my Nepalese painting. You can colour in some famous five. There's all kinds of opportunities we've got for you in art at the new at school as well.
And one of the other things you'd be doing at Newman is learning another language, such as Spanish. So, hola, hola, mi amo, es señorita, bro. Mucho gusto. ¿Qué tal hoy? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Tengo 21 años. There are thereabouts. So if you can learn some Spanish before you come to Newman School, there's an app called Duolingo, which is free. You can download that and you too can hablar español. Okay, now, other things we do at Newman School is we also study RE. These are my rosary beads, which I use to pray. But you will see all kinds of sort of religious artefacts for you to use and to look at and to understand. And not just about Christianity, but about different faiths and religions as well which will allow the whole world to live together harmoniously if we all are able to understand each other. Also, music. Now, music's great. We've got a plethora of instruments for you to use at Newman, such as guitars, ukuleles, keyboards, drums. There's a marvellous drum set you can go and beat it on. I'm at home, so I'm having to do the best I can, so I found my penny whistle. Not really good at that. But also the traditional yazoo, see if you can guess the tune. So hopefully you can learn an instrument or develop your skills in music at Newman School. Now, one of the things everybody always enjoys is cooking yesterday. I made jam using one of the recipes from one of the food technology teachers at Newman School. So my homemade jam there. And you can use that as well. You can start to make jams, you can make pastry, you can make cakes, you can make pastas, you can make curries, you can make whatever you want to do in our purpose built magnificent food technology rooms. And my subject, in fact, the best subject in the entire world is ICT. Now, at Newman, you use laptops, you use computers, but you'll also use things like digital cameras. If you have a mobile phone, on occasions we'll let you use your mobile phone as part of the lesson as well. And we've got things like iPads, which I'm sure some of you have got at home. And hopefully this next bit will work and um, you can start to understand how remote um, ICT works as well. So Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1927, Henry Ford drove the last ever Model T Ford out of his factory. And there you go. We'll understand how things like Alexa works and all the different kinds of devices that we can connect to the internet, as well as right now we're on computer programs and getting the computers and other devices to do the things that we want them to do. Technology. Now, in technology, we will be building things and taking things apart. So technology will include things like working with wood or working with metal, working with graphics, working with computers, but building, disassembling and creating your own masterpieces for you to take home as well. We also do PE. This is where it's all going to go very wrong. The limit to what I can do. So I'm going to try and do this. In PE recently, I've had a juggling competition. Yeah. Wrong. But we can use all kinds of skills. I'll stop that. But we can use all kinds of skills in PE from playing football to learning to juggle to playing hockey to doing athletics to doing running to doing orienteering to doing some cycling. There's all kinds of different opportunities there for you to to go in PE in our brand new sports hall, in our brand new outside space, in our brand new mugger, mugger um, site outside the school, and loads and loads of different sports for you to try after school as well as during your lessons too. So that's kind of all the things that we will be studying at Newman School. So I hope you're going to have some fun doing that. But there's some differences into how you're taught now, because you'll be doing a lot of those subjects in your primary school. So at the moment, you will be have all your lessons probably in the same classroom with the same teacher. And at Newman, that's going to be very different. You will be changing rooms for every subject. And the reason for that is because we've got subject specific rooms. So we've got big science labs where you can blow things up. We've got P sports halls. We've got food technology rooms. We've got rooms where you can do experiments. We've got rooms where you can build things. And you can't do all of that in one classroom. So you will be at the end of every lesson um, moving around the school, going to meet different teachers for different subjects and exploring the school as you go. So, for example, there's a whole floor of English at the top of our new building. 
and a whole floor of maths rooms as well. We've got food technology room where you can cook, large workshop where you can hammer and saw and make really exciting technology projects. There's a big art room where you can create your masterpiece. And of course, as I mentioned, there's a sports hall with changing rooms, loads and loads of outdoor space for you to run around in. Now, when you join school, you'll have four lessons a week. It's four hours of English, four hours of maths and four hours of science. And you'll probably be set in some of those subjects. But you'll also have some two hours in RE and Spanish and geography. And in all the other subjects I've mentioned, you'll have one hour a week. Now, this will change as you go through school. So sometimes you might have one hour of history one year, you might have two hours of history the year after. And that will um, depend on what year group you're in and um, how your timetable works. And don't forget, by the end of year eight, which is only two years away, you get to pick the subjects that you really, really want to do. So if you love art or you love PE or you really, really, really love geography, you can choose to study that in more detail. And if you're not so keen on one of the other subjects, then you can drop it. Now, there will be homework. I know some of us don't like homework, but not too much homework. But it's important to do it. It's extra learning because we want you to be successful when you leave school. And in order to do that, you need to build on the skills you've learned in school and continue to study them at home. But if you get stuck with homework, as some people do, it's important not to worry about it. You can go and find your teachers at breaks and lunchtime so you can ask them for help and they'll gladly give you it. But there's also a homework club after school every night in our wonderful library with our wonderful librarian, Mrs Jones, who will help you. And in there you've got access to computers and printers. Maybe you haven't got those things at home, but we do have them at school. So you can use them there. You can get all your homeworks done in school if you want to. Your teachers are there to help you. And I know sometimes it can be a bit scary asking for help, but it's important that you do. Your teachers are expecting you to ask for help. So if you think you're going to struggle in something, all our teachers are really, really nice. Just put your hand up. Or if they're walking around the classroom, just have a quiet word with them and they will help you. So that's all about Newman now. And now it's over to you because I've told you all about my favourite subjects and I've told you all about the lessons that we're going to study at Newman School. So what I want to do from you is I want you to tell me what your favourite subjects are. Now, because I'm an IT teacher, I'm going to ask you, if you can, to use ICT to do this. Now, there's a a website called Padlet and we're going to post the link beside this video where you can find it. And you click on the link and you'll get a whole web screen and you can draw a little box and in there you can tell me all about your favourite subjects. I want to know what it is. You can write, you can do me a little bit of writing on there if you want to, you can take a photograph if you want to, you can perhaps put a picture of a model on that you've made or some cooking that you've done if that's your favourite subject too or maybe you're in your sports kit or something like that. You can click on it and you can choose, you can put a video on if you want to, or a picture, anything that you want to do. You can represent your favourite subject in any way you want to. So all I'm going to ask you to do is to upload it onto Padlet so I can have a look at it and see where my, where my English students are going to be, my math students are going to be, and we can have a look and see what people like to do. Now, the other thing that I want you to do as well when you've done that, because that's really, really easy, is I want you to think really, really creatively, because once you go to secondary school, you can... Choose millions and millions of different subjects. So if you want to study photography, that's an option. If you want to study Belgian or German, that's an option. If you want to learn how to do macrame or knit, then that's an option. There's GCSEs for just about everything. And if I know the things that you're interested in, then I can have a look about widening the curriculum to, do, to teach you the subjects that you're really, really keen. You let me know on your Padlet what subject you would really, really like to study and I'll see what I can do. I'm very excited to meet you all. I'm really excited to show you around our new school, which is amazing. And I look very much forward to seeing you all in September. Take care and don't forget the Padlet.